The INEOS Grenadier has already arrived as a true option if you want a hardened, go-anywhere four-wheel drive. But what if you want some extra personalization? What if you want to take things up a level? Well, that's what brings us to this. It's the Grenadier Detour, and it's the first car to come from Arcane Works, a special department from INEOS that is going to be behind some really exciting new cars that offer a whole wealth of customization. And in this video, we're going to be checking out both of those to see what kind of level of customization this latest Grenadier offers and why you should be interested in it. The INEOS Grenadier Detour is one of those cars that the closer you look, the more you discover. Starting off with these little Arcane Works badges, which are made from a bespoke jewelers in Birmingham. And they're just a great little touch that add to a premium feel of this already quite premium car. Elsewhere, we've got new design bumper sections with grip tape here, although I don't think you'd be able to kickflip this. And underneath, there are accents here that you'd be able to tailor between different colours depending on what you feel like. It hasn't changed the overall character of the Grenadier, it's just lifted it ever so slightly. And I'm particularly fond of these headlight covers, which add some protection, but also give it a far stronger visual appearance against the, well, already quite impressive Grenadier. As we've touched on, this detour version of the Grenadier is getting the same basic underpinnings as the regular version. That means you can get it with either a 3 litre petrol with 249 brake horsepower and 450 newton metres of torque, or a 3 litre diesel which gets 281 brake horsepower and the same 0 to 60 mile hour time as the petrol, though it is a touch more efficient. Both, as on the regular car, are sourced from BMW and linked to an automatic gearbox. This detour version obviously doesn't mess with the general architecture of the standard Grenadier. So you've still got some really chunky buttons down here for the heating and ventilation. You've got the full control panel up top for all of your auxiliary functions and a lot of your driver settings too. But again, like the exterior, it's all about the details with Arcane Works. So down here, the main dials and the controlling for the differential have been switched for fully metal versions. And as you might have noticed, all of the upholstery is now bridge of weir leather and in fact i'm going to do a bit of a blue peter here and you can see there are loads of different types of leather you can choose from in order to make this interior a little bit more personalized you might notice the distinctive pattern on the seats themselves as well that's the arcane works logo interpreted into stitching and you can also have bespoke stitching on the back here this one was revealed at goodwood which is why you'll find the coordinates for Goodwood House back there, but you can change it to whatever you like. And that really is the ethos of the Arcane Works cars. You can switch between all of these different materials and functions, but you can still make it completely personal to you. In the rear of the Grenadier detail, you're getting the same elevated seating experience that you get in the standard car, so you feel nice and high. It's quite confidence inspiring when you are sitting back here. There's decent levels of space, and these seats themselves are comfortable, as you might have noticed. That leather is continued back here, so we've still got the same Arcane Works detailing on the seat squabs, and it's all got an elevated feeling of quality. But one feature that I really like is this headliner. That's not just any carpet, that is cashmere for the entire headliner. That's something I've never seen on a car before. Of course, you could argue that all of this isn't exactly animal friendly, but it does mean that the whole car feels very warm, very inviting, and it certainly feels very expensive. But yeah, that headliner, amazing. At present, there is no talk of Arcane Works making a commercial version, which we've seen apply to other INEOS versions. Likewise, you're not going to be able to get it on the pickup truck, the Quartermaster, which was revealed in July 2023. There's a good chance that we might see it in the future, but at present it's being resorted to just this detour version, of which there are only 200 being made. Another key difference with this detour is that it's still built in Hamburg, France, using a variety of, well, German made components but then it is actually hand finished in the uk you notice this very highly polished paint well that's because it's hand polished in the uk as well this is a lot of elements of this handcrafted bespoke touch to this latest detour and that's how it differentiates itself from the standard grenadier it's also competing with more upmarket versions of the g-class and it, you could also argue that it's touching into range rover territory with this price tag while the original Grenadier has already shown itself to be a true and focused off-roader, this new Detour version unveils a new focus for INEOS and for Arcane Works, looking towards greater personalisation and putting a little bit of extra life into what is already quite a characterful car. While this car here is going to be limited in series, it opens up a whole world of new things for the Grenadier, and I, for one, am very excited about where this car can head in the future. 
And thank you for watching this walk around video of the new Ineos Grenadier Detour from Arcane Works. Now, if you have enjoyed this video, leave us a like below and let us know in the comment section what you think of this very upmarket four wheel drive. Do you like the touches inside or are there any tweaks and changes that you'd make on your Grenadier? And since you're here, please remember to subscribe to the Motors YouTube channel and if you hit that bell icon, you'll get a notification each time we upload a new video.